All right, we have our last comedian of the night. Um, they're all my good friends. Fuck all of them. No, they're all great people. Next, get next guy coming to the stage. He's gonna close it out for you. He's a really great guy. Let's make some noise. Let's get it going. Let's get it hot. It's 2012. About to be 2013. Let's bring him up, Mr. Louis Bishop. Everybody. <laughs> I'm Zach's really good friend, but he forgets my name. <laughs> Fuck that Balky Protagonist looking motherfucker. <laughs> All the other comics got dressed up, and when I get dressed up, I look like a fucking Paul Bear. <laughs> you guys are here for the Anderson Wake, right? The Anderson Wake? Right this way, sir, right this way. When I come in, one of my friends were like, you know, you look like, you look like one of the guys in Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> like, no, oh, I can never be a Reservoir Dog. You guys, you guys know what Reservoir Dogs yes. is? Anyone knows? Okay, okay, all right, all right. We all grew up in the 90s, right? Okay, okay. I just imagine the scene, though, when they're naming everyone, and the guy's like, Mr. White, Mr. Pink, Mr. Orange, and Mr. Sweaty. I'm like, Mr. Sweaty? What are you going to be Mr. Sweaty for? We all call you Mr. Sweaty behind your back. You sweat all the time. You're Mr. Sweaty. Because you're fat. I got to be Mr. Black. Mr. Black's another guy. You're Mr. Sweaty. I can redo that whole movie in front of you guys. You just want to see that? The whole movie. Let me tell you what Like a Virgin's about. <laughs> I'm happy to be here though. We have survived, people. We are the survivor generation. Give yourselves a big round of applause for surviving. I don't know if you know what we survived. The Mayan calendar, we survived that. I always said if the Mayans were so smart, they would still be around. We survived not one, but two raptures. Yeah. Y2K, Nostradamus, we all survived it. We're survivors, people. But, I think we're the last ones. We're the last ones. It is the end of the world because the children are our future. We've all heard this. And we're raising the most sissified kids ever. Everyone is not a winner. Not everyone wins a medal. Everyone doesn't get oranges after the soccer game, Gary. There's winners and losers in life. Yeah, no one's always perfect. I don't know what the other thing he just said, but that too. I think something he's like, there's upside down and downside up. That's why I thought in my head, I was like, is that a thing? Can I need to write that down on my set? But I'll tell you. Who's to blame for this? It's white women. White women are to blame. Two things I can say as a white man. I can say white women are to blame for our kids. And number two is the N-word around my white friends. We say it all the time. It is hilarious. My question is, how, how come this, how come we come up with a fucking word and we can't even use it anymore? What the fuck? And I'm like, hey, Thomas Edison, this is fucking great electricity. You can't use electricity anymore. I come up with this shit, you dumb in word, motherfucker. I come up with it. That's what Thomas Edison sound like, dead on. Uh, two years from now, I'm actually going to be in an Edison biopic. It's between me and Daniel Day-Lewis. And uh, I come up with this shit, motherfucker. I'm Thomas Edison! I'm just saying, fuck it. If you don't believe me, go to Walmart. Go to Walmart. You will see these kids. They are horrible kids. You're standing in line, and Philip is having a temper tantrum on the floor. And his mom's like, Philip, Philip, come on, Philip, get up, Philip. Get up, Philip. Come on. Don't make me count, Philip. Come on, Philip. Get up. 
Don't let me count to five, fella. One, two, three. I'm like, hell yes, I love countdowns! I miss Dick Clark because there's no countdown this year. I do! Let's reminisce! And now back to you, Dick. I'm Ryan Seacrest. There's a little lion. So, sorry. <laughs> You're right, it's too soon. No! <laughs> we, we need to get them fully eaten by worms. <laughs> and then, we can say something. We don't want the ghost of Dick Clark to haunt these halls. Slurring and dancing the night away. <laughs> and ripping off black artists and not giving their dues. <laughs> Anyways. But she gets the five and she doesn't do anything. What you should do is, I'm only one man, I can only do so much. When she gets the three, run over and kick Philip as hard as you can in his head. He will fear his mother from then. He'll be like, my mom don't play around, man. One time she got the three and this old wig ginger guy dressed like a reservoir dog come out of nowhere and kick the shit out of me. These kids say they're being bullied, they're not being bullied. I'll tell you why, because they haven't been bullied by true bullies yet. True bullies are senior citizens. <laughs> At the age of 67, you can say whatever you want to in front of people or about people, and you can not give two fucks about it. I'll tell you why I was bullied not long ago at Golden Corral. Yeah, I like to go to Golden Corral. I'm American. Well, you know, come on. Am I supposed to not go to Golden Corral? I'm the only guy going. So I have like three plates of Bourbon Street chicken. Now it's time for dessert, you know. And I'm, you know, I'm a modest person. I'm not gonna bring the big plate to get dessert. I'm gonna get the little bowl, you know, so I go up. I'm getting the dessert bowl. I'm the only person there, I'm the only person in line. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, the sweetest old lady you've ever seen comes up and looks me directly in the face. Now, keep in mind, I didn't cut her in line. She's getting her bowl, if I got my bowl in my hand. She looks me right in the face and she says, well, big boy. people laughing behind me. I'm so mad at this old woman. Like, how am I supposed to react to this? Like, if she was younger, like, how am I supposed to react? What's so supposed to be? Well, big boy, I'm supposed to be like, what? What the fuck you say, bitch? Huh? You think you're gonna punk me in front of everybody? Else? Bitch, pick up that bread and pudding. I can't do that, though. I can't do that. Because she's the sweetest, oldest lady you've ever seen. So what do I do? I do this thing that I've built up over the years as a defense mechanism. It's called laughter. I just take my bowl and I go, hell yeah. <laughs> and I sit at the table and I eat that fucking banana pudding so angry. In my head, I'm like waiting next to the car when she comes out, it's like a 76 Coupe de Ville or something. I don't even know if that's even a car. <laughs> and in my mind, I'm like, and she real funny inside, huh? You outside now, bitch. They can't help you now. You going to jail now, bitch. You going to jail now. All right, real quick. Guys, 2013, let's all get closer to one another, okay? We're all humans, we're the only thing that matters. But we believe, we're the only thing that matters, we're humans. You don't believe, oh. We're not the only thing that matters, we eat everything else. And if there's a plane crash, we eat each other. We're the only fucking thing that matters. So get closer to people. Try to get away from technology. Technology is great, but also it's making us further away from each other, okay? You might believe that your iPhone, your smartphone, your computer, your laptop, you might think they're your friends. They're not your friends. They're not your friends. They're not your friends. I like to believe though, that when I leave the house, all my appliances, because the laptop and computers, those are appliances. They all come alive, kind of Toy Story style. And they talk about how much they love Lewis. Mike Wade's like, I love Lewis because he loves popcorn. And the toaster comes over and he's like, I love Lewis because he loves Pop-Tarts. And I love Pop-Tarts too. And then my laptop is on the thing, he's like,
Y'all think y'all know Lewis? Y'all don't know Lewis. Let me tell you about your little friend, Lewis. Every night at four o'clock, he Googles, am I really alive or is this all a dream? He's very depressed. Let me tell you what else about Lewis. Lewis watches the most disgusting things you've ever seen in your life. When he gets done, he tries to click out real quick, thinking that it doesn't matter, and I'll forget. I don't quit. I don't forget nothing. Let me tell you something else about your friend, Lewis Toaster. Lewis loves tranny porn. Yeah, he does. You know what he says? He says, navel up, beautiful woman. Navel down, something I already know. I don't have to learn anything else. Lewis is a lazy lover, Toaster. Since you know Lewis so well, Toaster, let me ask you one last thing. Has he ever, has he ever kicked the field goal with you, Lewis? Oh, you don't know what that is, Toaster? I thought you guys were so close. No, he does that with me often. See, what kicking a field goal is, is he puts me on his chest. And then he masturbates. And then we can make it go over top of the screen onto the keyboard. He calls that kicking a field goal. My nickname for Lewis is Sebastian Janikowski. Thank you guys so much, I'm Louis Mitchell. Thank you, good night. Louis Bishop, everybody, Louis Bishop! Oh, hot damn.